museums, go to museums that have all kinds of art in it. Don't just think about contemporary art, because basically if you go to the British Museum or the Victorian Albert or the National Gallery, then you'll see that basically whatever idea you've had, someone's had it before, and someone might have had it 5,000 years ago as well. But that's not, it's nothing to be afraid of or depressed by. It's actually good because it actually connects you with history and with art history. So go and look and be inspired by people whose names you don't even know who they were, who've made work anonymously for thousands of years. Um, and if you ever have a kind of a block, an artist block, a visit to a museum is a really good place to go. Um, so that's, that's one piece of advice. I, I do that, I go to the British Museum about once a month. I'll try and go on like a Friday evening and just wander around looking at things. Because in a sense it's like a time travelling as well. So you're time travelling through art and through history and through ideas. So that's number one. Number two is go in for competitions and prizes. I know there's a lot of these things happen. And when I say competitions and prizes, I mean things that have some kind of reputation to them and things you can trust. Because I had my first, really my two biggest breaks as an artist came through uh, little commissions, through little competitions. And uh, both times, no one knew who I was at all. But these are two key moments in my career. And then another piece of advice is when you do go for those things, if you can't explain your idea in about two sentences, then you might have to go back and rethink your idea. I know that uh, might sound a bit tough, but keep it short and sweet when you're describing things. Because I've been a judge on a lot of these competitions, and as soon as someone writes two sides of A4 with an idea, you know they're sort of lost, basically. You don't want a short story, really. You just want to have a really punchy idea that you can visualise or imagine. So that's, that's number two. Number three, beware of art fairs. Don't, don't get fooled into thinking that's the art world when you go to an art fair. I mean, I go to art fairs, and I've, I have a sort of, and I feel I should be okay because I do okay as an artist, but it makes me feel insecure and paranoid just walking around those things. So I dread to think what it makes people feel who've just left college or are still at college walking around. In one way, it can be quite exciting, but other way, they're very intimidating. And that's not really what the art world is about. That's just one version of it. You know, the art world, the art really is about ideas. So think about ideas rather than about money necessarily, or the people that go to art fairs. So that's an important thing. Don't get distracted by that. Don't get distracted by the market too much. Um, because if, if people like what you do, they'll come to you. You don't have to go to them so much. Get to know people. That's especially true if, if you don't live in London. You know, when you go to London, if you go to openings and things, get to know who, how, how it works, how, the, how museums work, how galleries work. It's fair enough to do that. Don't feel afraid if you think you're networking. I think that's actually a very important thing to do because that's how you meet people and that's how people will know who you are. And so it's a very important part of it because you could be the greatest artist in the world. If no one knows you exist, then You'll be the greatest artist in the world, but you won't be in the world, as it were. You'll just be by yourself. So just get out and about, basically. I'm turning the page over. <laughs> you make your own luck. That's something I've learned very quickly. Is that there's not such there's no such thing as luck, really. You you make it for yourself. And related to that, don't expect to be discovered, because that doesn't really happen. People will discover you, but you, you, you've kind of made yourself discoverable, that's the way we're putting it. And if people want to think they discovered you, that's fine, but on the whole, you have to put yourself out there, and you have to be in situations and know what you're doing, and then just be around and visible, basically. I know that sounds a bit strange, but basically you do make your own luck. Um, also, I want to say thank you to the parents that have come today, because I remember when my parents used to come to my first shows, They'd like look at what I was doing and be absolutely horrified. And I hope you haven't been horrified or what your children have been up to. You know, you see they're with a lot of other people, a lot of supportive people with them, not only their tutors but the other students. And it's actually very important to keep that community spirit going when you leave university. It's a really important thing to do. Listen to advice, but don't necessarily take the advice in a way. You don't have to do what other people say. You probably know that from being at college, but but always be prepared to listen to it. My, my rule of thumb is that if someone writes about you, whatever they say, either you have to read everything that's written about you or you read nothing that's written about you because you can't just read the good press if, that, if you get good press, if you're lucky enough to get it. You have to read the bad press as well. So I just don't read anything. But listen to what people say 
but sometimes you should do the opposite of what we're telling you. But uh, that can come in handy. Uh, so lastly, and probably most important for artists that are leaving now, is don't, get, don't fret too much over getting a studio, because in a sense, you know, the world is your studio, especially now with art making. You really, there's so many opportunities now but where you can just make the street your studio, or the world, or just ideas your studio, or the internet. So don't get too hung up over getting a space to work in. Um, also, you know, the most important space really is the space between your ears, really. That's where the studio really exists. So I wish you all a lot of luck. I hope you've remembered some of those things. I hope some of them will be helpful. But um, Adam, thanks for inviting me. I don't know what's happening after this. Is this, do I have, there's been some performances on. <laughs>